नमस्ते माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मिसेस प्रीति सुनील जोशी वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन ऑफ क्रिस्टलोग्राफी वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कैलकुलेट इंटर प्लेनर डिस्टेंस लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू कैलकुलेट द इंटर प्लेनर डिस्टेंस and determine the crystal structure the contents include interplanar distance and expression for lattice constant an aggregate of a set of parallel equally spaced planes passing through the lattice points gives a crystal lattice okay so these planes are known as lattice planes and the perpendicular distance between neighboring planes is termed as interplanar distance or interplanar spacing so each of the infinite set of lattice planes of a given space lattice will have their own characteristic interplanar spacing uh, so we have also seen about the miller indices in the last session Uh, dear students please pause the video and try to answer what are miller indices yes students three smallest whole numbers are known as miller indices represents the position and orientation of a lattice plane in a crystal now we will learn how to calculate the interplanar distance by using these miller indices let us first see what is meant by interplanar distance the distance d between successive lattice planes is known as interplanar distance this d involves the axial lengths of the unit cell and the miller indices of the planes we shall now derive here an expression for d in case of cubic system consider a plane abc of a cubic crystal as shown in the figure here a perpendicular is drawn on the plane and now we have to derive the equation for this perpendicular distance now students here we will consider only one plane instead of a cubic structure for a better understanding we know that the three axes of a cubic crystal are mutually perpendicular let abc be one of the family of parallel lattice planes in the crystal let the miller indices be hkl and the intercept on the crystallographic axis are oa ob and oc respectively let a perpendicular is drawn from o to the plane abc therefore on the length of the normal from the origin to the plane is equal to d now let's join all these points let alpha be the angle between coordinate axis x and on beta be the angle between coordinate axis y and on and gamma be the angle between coordinate axis z and on the intercepts of the plane on these three axes are given by oa is equal to a by h ob is equal to b by k and oc is equal to c by l now if we consider the triangle ona and determine the value of cos alpha it will be equal to on upon oa again consider triangle onb and onc and calculate the value of cos beta and cos gamma let's simplify and uh, let us call it as equation number 2 we know that the sum of squares of the direction cosines of a line equals unity hence if we further simplify the equation and as we know that for a cubic crystal all the edges are same that is a is equal to b is equal to c we will get the final equation for interplanar distance as d is equal to a upon under root h square plus k square plus l square
Now let's derive expression for let i is constant. We know that the equation for density which is equal to mass upon volume then mass is given by n that is number of atoms per unit cell multiplied by molecular weight and divided by Avogadro's number and volume is given by a cube. So, th so the equation reduces as density is equal to n multiplied by m divided by n a into a cube. So, by rearranging and taking the cube root we will get the equation for let i is constant as given in the uh, as given by the equation number 4 here. So, students let us solve this numerical please pause the video and think and try to solve. Dear students please check your answer. The answer is interplanar spacing for 3 to 1 plane is 1.12 angstrom minute. Students uh, take one more example for practice. Calculate the lattice constant of NaCl crystal if its molecular weight and density are 58.46 and 2.167 gram per centimeter cube. Respectively, calculate the spacing between 110 planes of NaCl crystal. Please pause the video and solve it. Check your answer students. Uh, for calculating the interplanar distance, uh, first we have to calculate that is constant A which comes to be equal to 5.65 angstrom minute and D for 110 plane will be 4 angstrom minute. Okay. So, students please practice more examples. See you in the next session. Thank you.